and civil here. Let's have the, Rachel, uh, Rachel have a question. Congregation Sorry. under the bridge and congregating there. You're just mentioning COVID. What is the situation there? I know that the crowd has been dispersed. Do we know who has tested positive? If people got sick, any kind of symptoms uh, among this group of 15,000? You said. Uh, yes. So uh, we did not. We do not uh, We did not test that population of individuals. Uh, we do not know. I do not know. I should say, if I may be perfectly accurate, I do not know whether anyone was sick with COVID. We certainly had some individuals get sick, uh, not specifically uh, with COVID to my knowledge, and we addressed their illnesses. Uh, in fact, we set up medical tents uh, that had a certain standard uh, of ability to address medical needs. It is, it was, it's hot in Del Rio, Texas. We had cases of dehydration. Uh, we had other situations, and that is precisely why we searched 100, approximately 150 medical professionals to address the medical needs of that population. That is why we set up uh, medical facilities uh, with the appropriate equipment to address their medical needs. And I must say, uh, what I saw of the Border Patrol and other personnel was, quite frankly, heroic. Uh, they took, this is not uh, their, uh, their customary um, obligations, and yet they took great pride in addressing the needs of the people. 